Now it's time to bring on some of the stars from my first film, Hairspray, which also was directed and written by John Waters. I'm so excited because I haven't seen these people since we made the movie. The first one I'm going to introduce, he played my dad in Hairspray and is currently starring in the hit TV show Seinfeld as Jason Alexander's dad. Please welcome Jerry Stiller. Please welcome Ruth Brown. Hi, Dad. How are you doing? Oh, it's great to see my dad. Oh. Woo, woo. <laughs> You're still as beautiful as ever. Oh, thank you, Jerry. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. I'm, I'm so happy to see the both of you. It's, I mean, it's been seven years, I think, huh, John? Yes. Yeah. They look younger. They look yeah. the same, exactly the same. <laughs> How have uh, you been? Just great. Yeah? Yeah, I'm getting, getting residual checks. Well, uh, <laughs> yeah, I dye my hair. <laughs> <laughs> and you have, some, you have someone that you want to plug, Jerry. Well, yeah, I'm the father of uh, George Costanza. I'm your daddy, Tracy's, Tracy's daddy. <laughs> and I'm also Ben Stiller's dad from Reality Bites, so I feel very, very well, honored. I just met recently, had dinner with him. Did you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a very yeah. good movie, too. Yeah. Good movie. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Terrific. All right, why don't we, we're going to show a clip from Hairspray. In case any of you uh, never saw the movie Hairspray, here's a clip. Mom, Dad, oh, Penny, my best friend. I'm so happy. Finally, all of Baltimore knows I'm big, blonde, and beautiful. Oh, you're a team leader now. And the showbiz offers are pouring in. Tonight we have an audition. And honey, this is only the beginning. Stick with me and we'll claw our way to the top. Oh, God. Fame, fortune, glamour, and to top it off, I'm in love. Aww. That was a good luck, Rick. A good luck. <laughs> it's the best summer of my life. <laughs> we have someone on the phone now. Michael, are you there? Yeah, Ricky. Uh, Michael uh, played my boyfriend in yeah. Hairspray. Remember him from Elvis? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right, right, yeah. <laughs> Michael, I understand that you wanted to be here, but you're shooting a movie. Yeah, I'm up in Toronto. I wasn't able to get away. In fact, they're calling me on the set pretty soon, but I did want to call in and just wish you all well. You know, Hairspray remains one of, one of the best times I've ever had on a movie set. Thanks to John Waters and the crew and the cast that are with you, and, and especially you, Ricky, with your, uh, well, contagious personality. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, what, what movie is he shooting? Yeah, what movie are you doing, Michael? It's called Replicator. It's a sci-fi film. I have, I'm playing two roles, a good guy and a bad guy. All right. Oh, wow. Very wow. I'm very excited. With Ned Beatty. Well, I'm really right. glad you could be here, at least on the phone with us, Michael. You know I love you. Yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, no. You all know that I'm engaged to someone else. Yeah. Michael, oh, I, I just... want to know. <laughs> Michael, I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. All right. All right. All right. Unfortunately... We can never have a complete Hairspray reunion because one of the stars of Hairspray, Divine, died shortly after the premiere. He played my mom in the movie and was kind of a real mom to me in real life. He taught me how to walk in high heels. But he taught me much more about human kindness and making the most out of life. He meant so much to all of us. His death was sudden and continues to be a loss for us all. We miss you, Divine. <laughs>